A recording was released this week of a teacher berating school children for refusing to accept that another pupil could identify as a cat, and its equal parts hilarious and horrifying. The teacher said the pupils had really upset the cat by telling it, you're a girl. Girls identifying as boys can be difficult to get your head around, but at least it's in the same species. And never mind animals, an investigation by the Telegraph discovered a pupil who identifies as the moon and demands to be referred to as moon self. I mean, to be fair, Britain does have a child obesity problem, and I've seen a few kids waddling down the street who are definitely big enough to affect the tides. I'll play the recording in a second, which has the argument between the two pupils and their teacher, who is enraged because the pupils say things like, there's no such thing as a gender which is a lack of gender apparently, because according to the kids, if you have a vagina, you're a girl, and if you have a penis, you're a boy. That's it. I mean, a few years ago, this would have got you an easy point in a biology exam. Now, according to the teacher, it's a hate crime. Anyway, let's listen to the full recording, and then I'll talk about why this is indicative of a safeguarding issue. How dare you? You just really upset someone. You're the whole Saying things like, should be in an asylum. I didn't say that. I just said if they, if they want to identify as a cat or something, then they're like genuinely unwell. Then they've gone, yeah, they're crazy. crazy. You were questioning their identity. No, no, I wasn't a question. I was just saying about the gender. I didn't say anything about them. But where did no. you get this idea from that there's only two genders? I just think they're right. opinion. That is my opinion. If there I respect really their opinion, then can't they respect my opinion? It is not an opinion. Yes, it yeah, is. It's, it's not an opinion you can have. There's only two people think there's only two genders. There's only a boy and a girl yesterday. There's, there's, there's no other private part. There's only two. Gender is not linked to do with the not linked there to the parts that you were born with. Gender is about how you identify, which is what I said right from the very beginning no, of no, the lesson. I just don't agree with that. Yeah. So why should I have to listen biological, to that? Biological biological sex. There is actually three biological sex because you can be born intersex. You can be born with male and female body parts or hormones. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, there's three. There's not three hundred. Doesn't mean. Yeah, there's three. I'm talking about biological sex. In terms of gender, there are lots of genders. There is transgender, there is agender, people yeah, that don't believe that. they have a gender at all. Yeah, but you can't have that. You, you, no, you have can't gender. have that. It's not a law. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not a law, but it's our opinion. We just don't agree with it. We just if, think it's all just. If you have a vagina, you're a girl. If you have a penis, you're a boy. Yeah. So. But cisgender is not necessarily the way to be. Is you are talking about the fact that cisgender is the, the norm, that you identify with the gender that, of the sexual order that you're born with yeah. or you're weird. That's yeah. basically what you're saying, yeah. which is really despicable. How? When it's if I called true. my mum right now, my mum would be on my dad. If I called my mum, she'd say... Well, that's very sad as well, then. How is it? Loads of people agree with that. There's only a small majority of people who actually think that. And why do you think we have so many problems in the world with homophobia? Yeah, but it's not homophobia, that's not homophobia. Yeah. Yes, I'm fine with lesbians and gay people. Same. I've got nothing against them. Same. But gender is, <laughs> there is a link between it. And you're How? saying that people can't but change who no, they, they can't. want to be. They can't. Unless you get a penis so attached. No, I'm not. You're confusing sex and gender. No, I'm not, though. Because yes, if you have you a vagina, are. you're a girl. If you have a penis, you're a boy. Yeah, you can't, be, you can't have a vagina and be a girl. But gender then unless you get a separate. Even then, because you've got those genes. how you identity. How you identify. Yeah, it's but not. it's not an opinion yes, that we're expressing yes, this yes, school. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And if you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. So I I'm, I'm reporting you to Miss Willis. You need to have a proper educational conversation about edu about equality diversity and inclusion I'm I'm because i'm that not having that. that expressed in my lesson when i'm teaching you about you can be who you want to be how you it. identify is up to so you, you think think it. they just don't say it because then all yeah. this happens maybe because they're polite and maybe they're sensitive i've never i haven't said anything in all of the lessons I, i've been in it's just because they turn around and start saying something so i said how can you identify as a cat when you're a girl well, yeah. well they're now writing a statement i would imagine oh. that you'll be asked to write a statement as well we will yeah we will Wow, where do I start with this? So now people aren't just going to have preferred pronouns, but also preferred species. All those tedious conformists at work who put he slash him in brackets after their name and their email signature are also going to have homo slash sapiens? It's ridiculous. And after the pupils said that they believed that there are only two genders, the teacher said, 
Why do you think we have so many problems in the world with homophobia? That's ridiculous. As the pupils protested, it's not homophobia. It's about gender identification, not sexuality. The pupils understand these issues better than the teacher. Homophobia relates to homosexuality, which is same-sex attraction. It's nothing to do with gender identity. And the teacher says, if you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. Bear in mind this teacher is talking about being accepting of everyone, but she can't even accept a kid questioning trans speciesism. The teacher continues, I'm reporting you to Miss Willis for a talk about equality, diversity and inclusion. Every time I see the words equality, diversity and inclusion, I know they mean the absolute opposite of what they appear to say. This teacher is saying there's no diversity of opinion allowed, even when it's something as obvious as not believing a human can be a cat. There's no inclusion. The children are threatened with expulsion for having a different opinion. And these children definitely don't have equality because their needs and their opinions are overruled because they go against the prevailing ideology. The teacher also says it's polite and sensitive to accept this person as a cat. What evils we are asked to accept in the name of politeness and kindness. To paraphrase Voltaire, anyone who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. Once our rational framework for understanding the world is corrupted, there's no anchor for morality. One pupil at a state secondary school in Wales told the Telegraph of a fellow pupil who feels very discriminated against if you do not refer to them as cat self. She added, when they answer questions, they meow rather than answer a question in English. And the teachers are not allowed to get annoyed about this because it's seen as discriminating. How are children supposed to focus on learning? A student said, it's distracting to sit in a lesson and have someone meow to a teacher rather than answer in English, especially at secondary school age. I mean, no doubt. And it's bizarre that the teachers and the education system are indulging this instead of setting boundaries so people can actually learn some stuff. But no wonder teachers are dealing with it badly. The organisations that they turn to for advice don't seem to know either. The Safer Schools organisation, which claims to be a multi-award winning safeguarding ecosystem, has issued guidance to parents and teachers in which it says the furry community itself is a complex one, made up of many different identities and definitions of what it means to be a furry. It also advises parents and teachers to engage in conversation about what they think it means to be a furry and what they see as the benefits. The Telegraph also reveals that teaching assistants at other schools take children who identify as horses out for a canter and feed strips of meat to children who identify as dinosaurs. What? Everyone knows you feed dinosaurs with a goat tied to a steak. Have none of these people seen Jurassic Park? But some people quite correctly are seeing all this as a safeguarding issue. Tracy Shaw of the grassroots Safe Schools Alliance said that if a child is coming to a school identifying as a cat or a horse, that should immediately raise red flags. Whoa, careful there, Tracy. If you raise red flags, that could startle the horses. The last thing we need is a stampede in the playground. But it's a serious point. Identifying as animals is a sexual fetish for adults known as furries. If a child is doing this, where have they picked it up? What are they being exposed to online or outside school? This is definitely a safeguarding issue. But if any teachers speak out against the ideology that allows children to identify as animals, they could lose their jobs, as happened to Christian teaching assistant Christy Higgs, who questioned gender ideology in a Facebook post. She was fired for expressing pretty common sense opinions, although she's just won an appeal against her dismissal. This fear of saying the wrong thing is echoed in the conversation between the pupils and the teacher. The pupils say that other people think this, but they just don't say it because then all this happens. They get threatened with discipline and threatened with expulsion. Adults are responsible for all this. It doesn't seem so ridiculous for children to be demanding to be referred to as cat self or moon self when you've got fully grown men doing the same thing. You've got guys called Brian with beards putting he, him in brackets in an email. Who's that for Brian? Do you think anyone out there thought you were a woman? You're doing it because it's a tribal marker. You want to be accepted by the stern authoritarian woke women who've infiltrated every HR department. And one way of doing that is to display your pronouns. When children see adults pandering to this mania, we can't blame them for following along. Perhaps children being encouraged to identify as cats will be the tipping point that wakes people up to gender ideology. I mean, it would be funny if there weren't children being sterilised and maimed as the end result of all this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Our entire education system has been captured by woke ideologists and fringe activists. 
Conservatives have taken our eye off the ball. If we are to have any hope of saving Western societies, we need to get involved and bring some common sense back into education. These children arguing with their teacher are an inspiration. They're speaking out and saying the things adults are too scared to say. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it with the wokest, bluest, haredest school teacher you know. And if you want to support me making these videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. From as little as £3 a month, you can give me money, which is great, because I like buying stuff. And also, you get access to Patreon-only Zoom shows and things like that. Anyway, thanks for listening. I've been Leo Kears. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, and please like and subscribe. Okay, bye. <laughs>